Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very beautiful problem for you guys today. Uh, this one was posted on the Art of Problem Solving Forum, and I'm not sure what the source of it is, um, but I hope you all enjoy it. So if you like to try, if you want to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm going to go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC, and we let the parallel through A to BC meet the circumcircle at A prime. Uh, M is the midpoint of BC, and L is the foot of the perpendicular from A prime to BC. And then we let the two tangents to the circle at B and C meet at point P, and we drop the perpendiculars from P to the line A, B, and AC, and we let it meet them at H and K, and we want to prove that H, M, L, K is cyclic. All right, so how do we um, go about doing this? Well, the first thing I notice is that if A, A prime is parallel to B, C, then that means that A, A prime, C, B has to be an isosceles trapezoid. Because if you have any two chords in a circle that are parallel, um, then the endpoints of those chords will always form an isosceles trapezoid. So I'm going to write that out. Um, before I do that, um, if A, A prime, C, B is an isosceles trapezoid, then there's a kind of symmetry about the perpendicular bisector of BC. So um, the perpendicular from A prime to BC should be symmetric to the perpendicular from A to BC. So I'm going to draw that and I'm going to let D be the foot of the perpendicular from A to BC. Okay, so A prime CB is an isosceles trapezoid and therefore by symmetry um, the perpendicular from A to BC is symmetric to the perpendicular from A prime to BC, and so BD has to equal LC. Okay, so we have BD is equal to LC. All right, and then not only that, we have a number of cyclic quadrilaterals here. So first I'm going to note, since M is the midpoint of BC and T is the intersection of the tangents at B and C, uh, by symmetry, TM has to be perpendicular to BC. So I'm going to write that out. So TM is perpendicular to BC. And that creates a number of cyclic quadrilaterals. Um, so I'm going to note two of them. But if uh, angle TMB is 90 degrees and angle THB is 90 degrees, then THBM has to be cyclic. So I'm going to write that out. Um, BHT is BMT is 90 degrees, so BMTH is cyclic. And then also this big quadrilateral has to be cyclic because THA is equal to TKA is equal to 90 degrees. So I'm going to write that out. Okay, so AHTK has to be cyclic. All right, so what do we ultimately want to show? We ultimately want to show that HMLK is cyclic. And one way to do it is, so in any cyclic quadrilateral, um, each angle is equal to the exterior of the opposite angle. So we could try to show that angle HKL is equal to angle HMB. Uh, that would end up proving it, okay? So I'm gonna try to calculate angle HMB. Um, so I'm gonna do a little angle chase and I'm gonna use these cyclic quadrilaterals so angle HMB, uh, it has to equal angle HTB, and that's because HM, HBMT is cyclic. And then angle HTB uh, is equal to angle HTA uh, minus angle BTA. Um, and then once we know that, um, since this big quadrilateral is cyclic, angle HTA uh, is equal to angle HKA. So we have, um, ultimately we have angle HMB is equal to angle HKA minus angle BTA. Um, but we want to show that HMB is equal to HKL. And HKL would be HKA minus LKC. So really we want to show that angle BTA is equal to angle LKC. So that's kind of our next step in this problem. And so my strategy to do that 
is I'm going to try to show that triangle ABT is similar to triangle LCK. And if that were true, then we would have that this angle BTA is equal to angle LKC, and that would solve the problem. All right, so how do I show that those two triangles are similar, ABT and LCK? Um, so I'm going to try to show that the angle ABT is equal to the angle LCK, and then I'm also going to try to show that the ratios of the corresponding sides. So I'm going to try to show that AB over CL is equal to BT over CK. All right. Um, so before I do that, I am going to note that there are two other similar triangles. So it actually turns out that triangle ABD is similar to triangle TCK. And that's not too hard to see, but that gives us some of the ratios that we want. Um, so I'm going to try. I'm going to show uh, through an angle chase that um, angle ABD is equal to angle TCK. Um, so I'm going to start um, just to make things easier. I'm going to pick a random point on the extension of TB, and I'm just going to call it E. I'm going I'm to pick another random point on the extension of TC. Uh, you can forget that statement. Uh, I just wrote it and erased it. Um, so F is a, another point on the extension of TC past C. Um, and I'm just using these for the purpose of making the angles easier. Um, and so now I'm going to do an angle chase. So you can see uh, angle TCK is equal to angle ACF. Um, and ACF, since CF is tangent to the circle, that's equal to angle ABD. Okay, so if angle TCK is equal to angle ABD, um, that means those two triangles, TCK and ABD, have to be similar because they both also share a right angle. Okay. So we have uh, triangle ABD is similar to triangle TCK. Um, and that gives us a couple ratios. So that gives us the ratio um, AB over BD has to equal uh, TC over CK. And like I mentioned before, ultimately we want to show that triangles ABT and LCK are similar. So ultimately we really want to find the ratio AB over C or AB over CL and show it's equal to BT over CK. So I'm going to start by calculating AB over CL. Um, so, so AB over CL um, is equal to uh, AB over BD. So this is true because um, I mentioned it up here, uh, BL is equal to LC, or BD is equal to LC um, because of the symmetry of the figure, um, because D is basically the reflection, or, or L and D are reflections over point M. So, so AB over CL is actually AB over BD, but those are two sides in the triangle ABD, and we said that that triangle is similar to triangle TCK. So AB over BD is equal to CT over CK. And CT is equal to BT because any two tangents from a point to a circle are equal. So CT over CK has to equal BT over CK. And that gives us exactly the ratio we want because we want to show, because um, AB and CL are corresponding sides in those two triangles that I mentioned. And uh, BT and CK are corresponding sides in those two triangles I mentioned. So we're very close to showing that those two triangles are similar, ABT and CLK. Um, we just have to show that the, the angle um, that the, the corresponding sides um, surround is equal. So we need to show that angle ABT is equal to angle LCK. And that's a fairly simple angle chase. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. So angle ABT, uh, that's 180 minus angle ABE. And BE is tangent to the circle. So angle ABE is equal to angle ACB. And 180 minus ACB, that's LCK. So we've shown that ABT is equal to angle LCK. And that gives us enough to show that those two triangles are similar because they have an equal angle and the two sides surrounding that angle are in the same ratio. So 
the problem is about to be cracked open. So triangle ABT is similar to triangle LCK. So now I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Um, going all the way back to this step, we wanted to show that HMB was equal to HKL. And we said that's the same as showing that angle BTA is equal to angle LKC. Uh, but we just proved that because we showed the two triangles are similar. So I'm going to write this out. Um, so we have angle HMB is equal to, from, from this step up here, it's equal to HKA minus angle BTA. And BTA, or angle BTA, is the same as angle LKC due to the similarity of these two triangles. Um, so uh, therefore, uh, we can substitute it here, and it's equal to angle HKA minus angle LKC. But angle HKA minus LKC, it's clear from the figure that that's equal to angle HKL. And so that gives us exactly what we want, because if angle HMB is equal to angle HKL, that means that HMLK uh, has to be cyclic, because uh, one of the angles, HKL, is the exterior of the opposite angle. So that solves the problem. Uh, so this was a little bit of a tricky one. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed it again. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Well, thanks, everyone.